What is going on guys? It's Become Fun Fan 97 and I'll be showing you guys how to create a channel art for YouTube. Now, um, this is really easy, um, but I'm gonna show you the techniques actually to make a channel art. Um, you know, all the stuff you need before you actually start. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to create the whole thing because there, like many people can have different designs and stuff, you know, background colors and whatnot and the designs. So I'm not gonna be going to that. But if you actually want a tutorial on how I did mine, then yeah, just go ahead and comment below. But um, that's not what we're going to get to. We're going to get to, um, you know, needing the perfect size. Because if you upload it or you upload something that's too small, then it's going to appear too small. Or it's going to appear too big that, you know, it's going to look really weird and ugly. So um, this, um, I'm going to post a link in the description where you can download this exact channel art template from YouTube uh, to Photoshop.psd file, which you're going to open in Photoshop. And once you opened it, it's going to appear just like this. You know, I didn't change anything and um, it's going to give you this little file and the outside right here this the whole entire document is for tv and that let me zoom in is for 2500 2560 by 1440 which is the actual site that you, that youtube wants when you upload it uh, so it um, focuses or it's all you know so it has the best dimensions for all of the devices so desktop max, um, this would be 2560 by 423. So, and then we have a uh, tablet, eight, uh, 1855 by uh, 1423. And desktop minimum and a mobile. So if you were to watch this on a, just a normal desktop or an, on your phone or iPhone, whatever, then you're gonna require 1546 by 1423. And that will be in between uh, this and right here. And this and right here will be a tablet and desktop max is right here and here and for the TV is the whole document now text and logo safe areas where you will put all of your stuff in here this will be whatever you do make sure it's that it all fits in this little box this the darkest uh, box right here and that's 1546 by 423 just in case now you know again just make sure everything's uh, you know have your document saved and whatever you know you designed it so just make sure that um, when you start, you can create a new layer and work from there. Or if you create it on a different one, like it would be better if you put it in a layer. So if, let me drag this or copy it in here. Um, so let me go ahead and delete that. We don't need that. Oops. Yes, we do. So just leave that there. Um, it says your art goes here. Just put it on top because if you put it on the bottom, it removes it because it's on top of the layer, which is blank, which is a solid. So. You know, uh, transform it since this picture is a little small. I'm gonna go ahead and make it just bigger. It doesn't matter because whatever you work on, it's gonna appear in it's gonna appear in this box right here, which is the text and logo safe area. So if I were to make it smaller, um, or what? Yeah, whatever goes in here. So if I were to just have this and the lines going through it, then this right here would appear on all of the devices. Um, if you're in a TV, of course, it would fit only this portion because the picture isn't as big enough. That's because there's only a wallpaper and the wallpaper isn't as big as the document size. So it's not gonna be, you know, I wouldn't upload this to YouTube, but if you were and if it, and if it was like this, then if you were to watch it on a TV, like on an Apple TV, then this is gonna be cut off as well as the desktop max right there, see? So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're doing your channel art. Uh, just make sure it's fully in full size and then you have your stuff in this little box right here, your text, pictures, whatever, just have it in there. And that's basically all you have to keep in mind of. The tablet, of course, um, if you have this in here, that will cover your tablet and your desktop Macs as well as the TV. And that's basically it. Um, you know, if you guys uh, want more tutorials like this, like more Photoshop tutorials, then go ahead and leave a like, because that shows that you guys actually like my content and comment because I do read your comments and I try to reply to most of them even though it's a little hard but yeah um, and I'll see you guys in the next video peace